بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد it's no mystery that we should strive as muslims to be educating our children that they are the next generation that they are the flag bearers of this nation and they will carry on after us bi idnillah ta'ala and so with that keeping that in mind it's important to know what to educate our children with what is the call in da'wah Allah what did the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam start with and how does that relate to teaching our children educating our children providing sustenance for our children so that way they grow up being muslims and not just muslims not just any muslims but muslims on basira wa fiqh that they have insight that they have wisdom and that they have understanding of the religion so we should teach our children tawhid first and foremost imam shamsuddin muhammad ibn uh, ibn ahmed ibn uthman al-dhahabi rahimahullah ta'ala said it is upon the parents to teach their children the young ones first things first that what is obligatory to be kept away from and what is necessary to carry out and his belief so the father should study with and remind his son with the matter of tawhid and that Allah is the lord of the worlds he is the creator of things the one who provides for the living and that muhammad is his prophet and that islam is his religion religion so that the child is familiar with these matters and he instills this in his nature when the child is able to distinguish he is taught the wudu and the prayer and he is warned against zina stealing lying against eating haram blood and dead animals etc and when he is mature then what the pen wrote comes to pass the second thing love for abu bakr and umar the advice of imam malik ibn anas rahimahullah ta'ala was the salaf used to teach their children love for abu bakr and umar just like they would teach a surah of the Quran rahimahumullah radiyallahu anhum ajma'in the third thing is warning children against the rafida from hamad ibn salama who said i heard ayub saying whoever loved abu bakr then he has indeed established his deen and whoever has loved umar then he has indeed made the path clear and whoever loved uthman then he has indeed become enlightened with the light of Allah and whoever loved Ali then he has held on to a firm handhold which will not break radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in Hamad said I asked Ayub should we memorize this he answered yes memorize it teach it to your children and your children should teach it to their children the fourth thing is from Jafar bin Muhammad ibn Ali who said my father said to me oh son indeed cursing Abu Bakr and Umar is from the major sins so do not pray behind the person who curses them so again it shows us how the salaf were with regards to educating their children it also illustrates for us that the salaf did not that the salaf emphasized the fact that the Shia are some of the most dangerous innovators and sh- and our children should be aware of that why is that because these people curse the very foundations of the religion they curse abu bakr they curse umar they make takfir of them and uthman radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in they curse the very people who preserve this religion the very people who Allah chose to be the companions of, of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the very people who compiled the Quran collected it together in the mushaf so how is it that we could trust a people like this how is it that we can relate to a people like this how is it that we can have common grounds with a people like this you have to ask yourself and what should we think about the individual who claims to be from ahlus sunnah who says that they are brothers and said that our differences are just minor differences wa ya'ad billah min dhalika if someone curses your mother that's minor curses the mother of the believers 
Aisha, radiallahu ta'ala, accuses of her being a, an adulteress. This is minor. So know your religion, ayuha ahabba. Know that Islam is pure. And beware of those people who distort the religion of Islam. And I challenge you, and I dare you, to go back to Kitabillah, was sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa and find other than this point, other than the point that these people are to be beloved, meaning the companions of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, radiyallahu ta'ala look at the ayats of the Qur'an. Lakin haulai, the rafida, the Shia, who hate Ahl sunnah who build their creed and their minhaj, their methodology in understanding the world, their world view, their paradigm, based on hating Ahl sunnah and hating the mothers of the believers and the uh, umara, the mu'mineen, the, the imams of the sunnah. وَعِيَادِ بِاللَّهِ مِنْهُمْ And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humiliate their plans and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect Ahl sunnah wherever they may be and may Allah wa ta'ala bless us with Jannah to and may Allah forgive us of all of our sins and unite us based on Kitabillah with Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam anything I said that was correct was from Allah anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan with sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala Nabi and Muhammad